<clears throat> Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel, it's Marilyn here. I have this layout for you today, I'm going to use this family photo. It is my son, <clears throat> my husband and me. And this photo match perfect with the uh, colors of this collection you can see here. And I'm going to use this side of this paper. First, I'm going to prepare my paper with gesso. So I'm going to uh, prime this with a clear gesso. But uh, let me tell you that I'm using the uh, <clears throat> January 20, 2023 limited edition kit by my creative scrapbook that is featuring the vintage artistry serenity collection by 49 and marker it is so beautiful and i'm going to let you the link to the kit in the description box down below let's get started with uh, some texture i'm going to use the stencil that comes this month in the kit i am um, put it in the area that i want to add here are the texture and i'm going to use now the distress oxides in <clears throat> vintage photo First, I'm going to use this uh, brush. The, this brush bristles are hard, so I think that maybe it gives me a little of the mm, color, the ink, uh, in a different way, but I am not happy how it looks, so I'm going to change to my traditional tool, that is the, sp the sponge. And I am applying now the Distress Oxide here, and you can see the difference because it looks... Uh, dark and i am trying to avoid not to cover one area specific of the paper that i love on the background this paper is beautiful it has uh, different layers of uh, and it looks like different textures it's hard to see it through the video but i love it now i'm going to apply a little of this uh, uh stencil work here because i am planning to put uh, the title uh, later here okay it is ready this is the photo that i'm going to use and now let me start with the difference element from the kit. Oh, I love this piece that you see here, the stairs. It's so cute and I want to incorporate this in my design. Okay, I'm going to apply this dress oxide, the vintage photo, around in all the edges of the different pieces that I'm going to use. I'm using here this card because I want to put different layers behind my photo and incorporate the different colors that I'm going to use. I love this piece, but it is, I'm going to cut and stretch this to use the other part in the other side. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. I am applying now a glue and I'm going to attach this on the back of my photo in one of the sides. Then I want to incorporate the card and the different pieces behind the photo. Let me show you what I want to do. I want to put this behind my photo here and show a little in the borders and then the ticket, the blue ticket, I'm going to attach this in the top here and in that way I incorporate the color blue. And then with the other part, I'm going to adhere this in this area here and then I have both sides with the same finish. Here I'm adding a piece of cardboard behind my photo because I want to add a little of dimension <clears throat> in my photo. I am trying to cover uh, the rest on the back because I want that <clears throat> it is uh, well balanced uh, on the page. Okay, it is ready now. I am planning to put this here in this top. And now I'm going I want to play with this. <clears throat> I already broken the stairs what i am trying to uh, work uh, carefully with this piece is very fragile but i love it and it looks like a real chain uh, but if you are going to use this piece be, um, be careful with it okay now i'm going to use the rub on i am planning to put my title here in this corner so now i'm carefully removing the protective backing here and align this in the area that I'm going to put it on my page. The package comes with this tool that you see here. And now once I position the ribbon, I am uh, using the tool and rubbing with a little of pressure over all this, all the ribbon. And now I am adding a few times that I rub in and now carefully I slowly peel away the paper backing and you can see now the rubber that is transferred 
on the background and it looks so lovely i love it okay now i'm using a piece of cheesecloth that i paint in blue color and i want to add these textures on on the background because this time i'm not using any paste my, i mean mixed media paste i'm going to, to add then a fabric on the background and then i am playing here with another piece and put it in the other sides and once i adhere this i want to incorporate the fabric behind the stairs too so let's see how uh, it's time to adhere now my photo and i'm going to put all these layers here other thing that I want to do with this page is I don't want too much dimension because I am not sure if I'm going to put this layout on my family album or in a frame. I add in at the, bo at the <coughs> bottom of the photo the one of the sentiment that comes in the Fimera in the mixed and match die cut pieces. And now I am here trying to <laughs> put back uh, the stairs it is uh, I already uh, put it in pieces but it's okay because I'm going to attach all the pieces and it will look fine here I am removing I am peeling uh, the backing of the 3d foam tape and put this uh, stair with a little of dimension and it looks so lovely i think it is one of my favorite pieces from this collection is these uh, stairs okay <clears throat> once it's ready i'm going to start to make all the flowers cluster here with the different flowers as you see these are from uh, I think this flower is from 49 a market in the kit you will find 49 and um, prima flowers so i'm going to mix both and i am inking all the borders of the different pieces here with a vintage photo so they will look all similar with the same finish finishing here i am playing with the flowers and the different element here i'm using also uh, paper flowers and this heart is so be be beautiful i have these leaves and i want to put them like they are uh, around the stairs here so i am playing with this to see how i'm going to uh, put all the pieces and i put the heart between the leaves <coughs> now i want to add a little more here and i'm the the leaves i cut by uh, by half and i'm using the other part here in the bottom part that you see and i'm going to add some of the butterflies and some of the fabric okay i already adhere everything off camera let me show you what i did i incorporate here as you see i am removing the the glue the threads of glue <laughs> i have a lot here and this is the butterflies i put one the bottoms and i put three butterflies uh, in a triangle around the photo and these are all the other elements okay now i'm going to add some pearls i'm going to position the pearls and then i'm going to adhere them <coughs> i'm sorry i am sick <laughs> Um, for variety <laughs> um, <clears throat> it's hard for me to talk in this moment but I am trying to do myself so you can uh, understand <laughs> what I'm saying because I my voice is terrible at this moment okay I already adhered the pearls and now I'm going to attach a few of the sequins. I'm going to adhere the sequins with the same hot glue. I am careful because I was thinking that maybe I'm going to uh, melt the plastic, the, the sequins, but now it works. I am did it uh, carefully. I, uh, I am planning not to add too much to this page because as I told you, I am planning to put this in, a, in my album. But if you like, uh, you want to uh, highlight more of this, you can add art stones or glass bead, whatever you like. If you want to add uh, more textures on the background, but for me it's okay. I'm going to add a few more sequence and that is. Now I'm going to cover the photo and I'm to finish this, I'm going to, I am giving white paint splatters. I love this technique. 
like to smooth all the surface and the edges between one part and the other and trying to melt everything with the uh, white paint splatters here and I apply enough <coughs> around all this work and once I add this it is ready I'm going to show you now the final result let me remove this and clean the photo that has a little of white here and you can see oh my gosh I love it it is not too much but it has you know flowers and a lot of uh, embellishment but it not looks so busy like I, I prefer and here are some of the photos that you can find in my social media I'm going to let you all in the description box and if you like this please bring me a thumbs up and share this video I'm going to let you right here two more videos that maybe you are interested and check my social media to see other works that I am making with others products. Well, my friends, I see you soon with a new video tutorial. Nos vemos. Bye bye.